Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and today we are showing you the Altitude 2.0 helmet from 509. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. So 509, these guys are definitely known for their snowmobiling gear, but they make good off-road gear as well. So today we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk about the Altitude 2.0 helmet. We'll talk about what's unique and help you decide if this should be your next lid. Now, first thing that I noticed when I took this out of the box is, first of all, I tried on size medium is what I tried on. It's what I wear in all other helmets. For me, fitment was good, very comfortable helmet. But also what surprised me too is the weight. Size large, two pounds, 13 ounces. That is pretty dang light. You have a fiberglass layup for the shell construction. Like I said, comfortable. But remember, use a sizing guide. We have our fit guarantee. So if you buy this helmet or any helmet that we sell, if you don't like how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition. And what we do to make sure you get the size right is we will give you free return shipping and then ship the other helmet to you with free shipping. And we do that to make sure you get the size and the fit that you are happiest with. So make sure take advantage of that. But with this, give you a little 360 view here. So you're gonna be a DOT and ECE certified, like I said, that fiberglass layup shell. Also, if you run an action camera on your helmet, they actually purposely built the top of this right here on top. You can kind of see the profile, see how they flattened it right here. They did that intentionally to have a good mounting location for a GoPro. So if you like to wear a GoPro a lot, then right here, you've got a great spot for that. Now, as far as the visor goes, so they're calling it here, they're high flow. You can see there are a lot of, a lot of cutouts in this visor. You also do have adjustability here. You can see on the top, you would just loosen this center screw. You can move that forward and back. You have, I'd say about an inch of adjustability with that. Very large eye port on this. You can also see with this helmet that we have, their fusion goggle up here on the table today, which you should check out. It's a rock solid goggle with an injection molded lens. Large eye port. Now with the chin bar, one thing with the 2.0 that they did is they wanted to increase the size of this and the air intake. So you've got this massive chin bar here, a lot of intakes getting the air coming through. You've got big intakes right here on the chin bar itself. And you've got a couple intakes here just above that eye port. So getting a lot of airflow going through. When you see the EPS liner on the inside, you'll see there's a lot of channels to help that get through there. But then on the back here, you notice You've got these large exhaust ports on the back of the helmet. You've got four of them. Again, you're taking that hot air. You want to get out the back of the helmet. These are where the hot air is going to escape. So that's the outside of your helmet. Let's take a look at the inside here real quick. So one thing that I like about this helmet that I think is definitely a bite out of the snowmobiling category is because I've seen Climb do this as well, is they are using the Fidlock system. And what's nice about this setup for the chin strap is that it's very easy to use with one hand, even if you have a thicker glove on. So the way it works is simple. You've got this red tab right here. And when you go to release this chin strap, you just simply pull on it and it opens right up. It's very simple to do. And then when you close is, it's actually magnetic, so it just snaps into place. And you wouldn't think that that's gonna keep that chin strap tied up so it's not gonna undo when you do have a crash. But when I take this thing, I can yank on that as hard as I want and that thing is not coming off. So that's the Fidlock system, very unique, nice little feature there. As far as the comfort liner goes, pull out a cheek pad real quick. So the comfort liner on this is a very soft, comfortable material. It's moisture wicking. So like I said, when I tried this on, it was comfortable. Plop my other one here real quick. All right, comfort liner next. All right, so that is out. Now, looking inside here, here's what I noticed. So when I open this up, first of all, they've got cutouts right here for speakers. Again, I think this is another thing that they're taking from snowmobiling. A lot of those guys are running a Bluetooth comms unit. So you've got cutouts right here for those speakers. If you haven't checked those out, they're incredible. You can use it for dirt biking. I've seen people do it. So be sure to check out the Bluetooth comm units that we do offer. It's nice that they had those speaker cutouts for that. And then when you look at the EPS liner, you'll notice here, again, there's the channels and all the vents that are cut out to help that airflow get through the helmet. And you notice too, kind of unique. I haven't really seen this much, but you have this two piece design with the EPS liner and you also have this piece of foam right here through the middle. So they add a little bit more impact absorption, a little bit more comfort for the top of the head with this piece of foam that you have right here up on the top. And that is it. That is the Altitude 2.0 helmet from 509. Again, super lightweight, very comfortable. I like the Fidlock chin strap system. 
If you have questions or comments about this helmet, we'd love to get those answered. So make sure, leave those below and to grab yours today. It is simple. You can click on the link in the description of this video or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Orders over $75 ship free. Remember, I talked about that fit guarantee. Take advantage of it. And if you want to see more product spotlights like you saw today and always know when they're being released, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I'm Chase. We'll see you on the trails.